brothers asked a question that we saw the point uh, that we have to avoid assumptions hmm? we have to avoid assumptions now how can we avoid assumptions how can we avoid assumptions my dear brothers in our minds we get thoughts which are from our own selves we also get certain thoughts which are waswasa from shayateen min sharril waswasil khannas all i seek your refuge from the waswas waswas is the one who puts in lots of waswasa who puts waswasa and then pulls back uh, who pulls back again and again i mean again and again he comes ahead so now how do we distinguish that this thought which has come in my mind is a waswasa from shaitan so uh, what's your that my dear brothers make it a point in life with the help of allah and i also appeal to our sisters that when a thought comes to you we are mukallaf we are have been bound to follow the sharia we have been bound to follow what the sharia teaches us and we have to check up is this a fact or is it a assumption is it a fact or is it a assumption <coughs> if we have to have assumptions about our brothers we should have good assumptions where assumptions are come into place if we are thinking uh, he is looking at me like this what is he is thinking something bad about me now ha huh? this brother over here now or maybe i should think maybe he's something something good if there's assumption we should have good assumption so my dear brothers and sisters let's restrict ourselves to what is real and let's leave things to allah people take tension that this will happen he is thinking i have to be beware beware i have to prepare now because now i don't know what he is thinking about me so i have to take protection then you know people start behaving in some way i thought about this about him now i start behaving like this with him then even if he was not having that in his mind he gets it he he got it why because i started behaving in a particular way after getting that that bad assumption and i say see i told you na my assumption was correct my assumption was correct even though i was my, myself the reason it became correct so we have to avoid assumptions and how to avoid i'll tell you just three points number one stick to the truth stick to what is there in the sharia second thing is uh second thing is is leave things on allah don't take all the tensions yourself leave things on allah ha huh? allah is there to protect you allah taala will take you leave it to allah i leave it on you you know as people say ke main tension tum pe chhodta hu but allah for allah there's no tension ha huh? so number 2 is leave it on allah allah loves this and lastly when you find someone else having assumptions and he's telling you then you be the one who set the assumption say this is that this is just an assumption my brother let's leave the assumption let's stick to what is the truth so these three i can suggest right now offhand of course there are many more from the quran sunnah